Hey everybody, uh, just doing another quick little video of my uh, All Ages Comic Diary uh, that I wanted to do, and uh, I just thought I'd take the moment, right now I'm just doing some work, I'm doing some cleanup for inking, uh, this has nothing to do with uh, huh, the content that I'll be talking about, uh, I just need to get some work done, so I figured I would do a little recording um, while I'm flapping the gums. So I, I came up to a, a realization uh, yesterday. And uh, it it might I know it's pissed some people off, <laughs> but it's not you know it's my choice and I don't mean this to be anything like that. But uh, ultimately, what I want to do and I've talked a little bit about this and you guys may have heard about it on uh, some of the previous shows I did. Uh, if you guys follow me on Ustream, I talk about it quite a bit. And I was doing a little bit of it on Twitter. I was just talking about it, and this was about a month, I mean, a few weeks ago. Um, and how it came about was I was introduced to a book by Freddie Williams called the DC Comics Guide to Drawing or to sorry let me try that again this is a mouthful here uh, the DC Comics Guide to Digitally Drawing Comics and uh, I actually here I have a, the website open here let me just pop it up uh, or on Amazon.ca this is the book right here on the left there and uh, this is the Canadian site or whatever and it's uh, it was eighteen dollars and what uh, what really got me turned on to this was somebody over Twitter, and I apologize if I forget your name, it's not an attack, I ju I'm just terrible with names, but right here, I don't know if you can see it on your screen at the bottom, this is what really caught my eye, uh, you know, he's going from like a gest you know, a gesture to blue, and then he's adding inks, and he ends up coloring it towards the end, and I was just, you know, kind of like in, in awe a little bit, going like, wow, you know, that looks pretty cool, and I thought it was, um, you know, you do a sketch, in pencil, and then you go into Photoshop, do some tricks, you make it look nice and inked, and all this other cool stuff. And the more I researched it, it was uh, totally the opposite. Uh, he does do some step-by-step uh, -step about that, uh, but for the most part, it's just um, from the ground up doing, not, 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 not the script, this is just drawing, remember. Uh, you know, going from a gesture all the way to page layout, thumbnails, uh, tightening, actually inking, adding line weight, rendering, to a final mock inked page where you know you'd send it to somebody and they they would question if that was even digital and the idea of that really it really interests me it's it piqued quite a bit of interest and uh you know this is a really long-winded way of saying what i want to do is i want my first comic i figure i'm going to use that as a way to test this out as a way to test out drawing comics digitally. Uh, I think it would be pretty pig-headed and uh, kind of a douchebag move if I were to ask an, uh, the next client I work with for any kind of comic. If I, if I would just go, you know, I'm trying to learn how to draw comics digitally. Do you mind paying me? And this is where obviously you can hear it coming into, coming into fruition here. Uh, do you mind paying me if I start learning a whole bunch of stuff while you pay me? And I'm going to try to make it look good, but I can't guarantee that it will look good at the end. Anybody with a brain would automatically say, uh, you know, I'd rather you do work that you're already doing because that's what I'm familiar with, that's what I'm promoting, that's what I showcase on my site and, you know, uh, art that I post. It's not a very responsible way to learn. You know, most of these things you have to learn on your own in your own free time. And then if you're fortunate enough, and I'm, I'm fortunate enough, I, I, I say it every time, uh, that people are interested in paying me uh, to do work for them, for their comic books, bring their stories to life. And I, I, that would be a shame and an, uh, a big conceit for me to ask somebody, uh, you know, if they'd be willing to sacrifice some money and time while I try to experiment. And that's that's inappropriate. So, long story short, <laughs> and this is the part where some people are getting a little upset. Uh, it was mostly close friends and stuff like that while I was bringing this up. Um, when I started this series on YouTube, we were talking about, if you go back to like uh, video one, uh, I was going to do like a Ranger Sunday morning type TV show with the characters, the superheroes, and uh, I, I was getting gridlocked. I was kind of getting stuck at uh, the design stage, and it, it bothered me to the point where uh, I just started sketching regular stuff, and then that's where the Mighty Mustache came in, and anybody that's been following it since then, that's all I've been talking about is the Mighty Mustache doing work and the story for it, and I can't wait to start it. However, and this is the part that gets good. I want to do this comic digitally from the start, okay? Uh, I figure I can use this as an experimentation for myself to learn how to do it and potentially be able to have that replace doing it uh, manually like I normally do, like right now. 
um, and a whole bunch of other things. So the Mighty Mustache is going to get pushed on hold. I'm not dropping it. Uh, it'll definitely be the next project I start after this one uh, because I'm really excited to do it. I, I enjoy where some of the twists that I've done with the story. And perhaps I was thinking of even doing another video uh, just updating you guys uh, on that, but I'm not sure if it'll be appropriate or, or not. Uh, but uh, in, in, in a future video, and this next one will probably come out, uh, well, at the end of November, I'm really starting to ramp up final production on uh, the art book, what pieces I'm going to include, and exactly what I'm going to be putting in the art, art book, uh, and stuff like that, so I can start focusing 100% on this project. This so what this project will be. It's going to be very simple. It's going to be 22 pages in and out possibly 24, uh, you know, uh, three-act structure in the story, uh, make some visually interesting characters, but give myself the opportunity to experiment. And I'm not going to be pushing the boundaries of my, uh, my, artistic, <laughs> my artistic repertoire, or I'm not going to be trying to find out brand new things, because this entire thing is an experiment on seeing if it's even possible for me to make that transition um, potentially uh, full-time for uh, professional means. So I hope you guys, uh, you know, you don't mind that too much. I'm sure most of you guys just watch this video for, you know, the content, see what's going on, see how things are updating and all that stuff. And I appreciate everybody that's still watching. And, uh, you know, I hope in the next few videos what I'll be doing is I'll probably be doing a couple experimentations on, you know, showing, you know, how you do go from a gesture and how I'm, how, how it's progressing. And ultimately, we have to start from the ground up again, so that means, uh, you know, i got to come up with a brand new story. And I'm pretty excited about that because uh, there's not much pressure of, uh, you know, foreshadowing or uh, leaving loops and stuff like that. So it'll be a pretty simple story, entertaining. That'll be, the, you know, the underlining thing. I want people to have a good time when they read it, but at the same time, I want to be able to learn a lot from this uh, in a whole different way, really. It's, uh, it'll be like redrawing, uh, learning to redraw with some fundamental background knowledge. But anyway, I won't keep you guys here while I ramble <laughs> talking about that. I'll get back to work on doing uh, my client work here. And I, again, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I always appreciate uh, any feedback you guys give. And the fact that you guys even spend time uh, listening to me ramble, I, I always appreciate that. So if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, anything, feel free to private message me here on YouTube. Um, or uh, actually, while I have you real quick, uh, a couple things real quick. If, if you guys are interested in this, and I've talked about it before, uh, I'll include a link in the description. Um, you guys can follow me on Ustream as well. Uh, every Monday and Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time till 11.30 a.m., uh, I do a one-hour just, I'm doing client work like this. This is actually what I was working on a little bit earlier today. And people are more than free to come in and chit-chat, ask questions. You know, if you got a, a question about how to draw something or how would I go about doing something or, you know... Uh, if there's any kind of information I can give, I'm more than happy to give it. So I just wanted to make a little buzz about that, as well as on my site, uh, right now until the end of December, uh, if you go to jonathanrector.com and you click on store, I have, uh, I think, what is it? I put 25% off right now. So I have anything in my store, the sketches that I've done, uh, there's a little sale there for 25% off. And uh, again, check it out if you're interested. Uh, I mean, uh, again, thank you so much for taking a look at that. So we'll catch you guys next time, and uh, take care. And hope you guys have a fantastic day. Bye.